Hi friends, how are you? Today I am going to give some explanation about output inserted values to some temporary table. So this feature I came to know recently. Uh, I thought uh, I want I would like to share my experience to you all. That's why I am creating this, this simple video. So for that first I have created one temporary table called inserted IDs. It has uh, desired columns. For demo purpose I am going to create IDs, promotion name and discount start date and end date. So this is my temporary IDs. If we see here this is the syntax. So insert into this is the table and uh, these are the columns these are the values so this is the i think everyone knows about this and i would like to after insert i would like to get that inserted values to back to my temporary table so here one uh, one interesting point is suppose let's take you want to get promotion id after inserted uh, in the, in the table you want to get that promotion ID which is going to be generated automatically after inserted values since this is the identity column once you insert only we are going to get that ID so you want to get that ID and you want to insert you want to store that ID into temporary table or for further usage so this option is very well useful so if you observe here we have output and after the insert into column names then we will start the output output of inserted this is the syntax inserted dot the column name so i am wanted to output of after inserting i want to output of promotion id promotion name discount and start and expire date these values to to my template table so this is how I can insert, I can retrieve the inserted values back to my temporary table and I am going to use select star from to display that value. So I think it's, it's simple and I think it, it might use useful for many places. So that's where I want, uh, that's why I would like to show you this example. So one more, one more time I am explaining. So after insert into a column name, so then we, we will start with output of output and the inserted dot. This is also syntax inserted dot column names. And from here, from these columns, I'm going to as again back to inserting to my temporary table. So this is the cool example. It's very cool. So let me go and execute. And this is the inserted row in my promotion. Let me go exit once again. 11, 12, 13, 14. So let me go and see my actual table. What is the latest row promotion ID? So that we can see. Let's start from. Friends, you can observe that this is my latest row. So, if I exclude along with my temporary table, my latest table is 14. I hope you understand this example how to insert and return back to inserted values. Thanks, guys. Have a nice day. Hope you enjoy this session. Please keep watch my videos and subscribes. Thank you.